Tata Movie Guy, OK. One British film that has deserved a lot more attention within the British media and within cinema is Daniel Cocatello's debut film, Apostasy. It is a film that has been out for one week on Quiz on Home Cinema and in select cinemas across the UK. But what has struck a chord with me is that I did not find this film any sooner. Daniel Cocatello was a Jehovah's Witness and he had left the faith. Now he wanted to basically share a story about a family who are in turmoil because one member of the family is now deciding to leave or potentially questioning her faith and leave the Jehovah's Witness. In my life I've known a few Jehovah's Witnesses and I have read about them. It's I will be honest, it's not a religion that I am a professional at. I, I know more about Scientology and Mormonism than I do about Jehovah's Witnesses. But I know it's a very strict faith. It is a big part of some people's lives and that's fine. But I think that this is a big and bold message from Daniel Cocatello and this is why we're here to talk about it. Apostasy is profound, ethereal and very delicate. It tackles the case of family and religious situations so beautifully. You as an audience member do not have time to be frustrated and angry throughout this film because the choices they are making are just so crucial to the story. The slow burning element of this film is what derives it to be so eloquent. The box ratios of the film just make you feel so claustrophobic within the confines of the family. You are just all, always so secluded within this little bubble of what is going on with their lives. And it's so sad, but at the same time, if you are becoming of a free mind and, well, even a liberal mind, you should be allowed to choose what you want to be. But losing your family as it is for most people, it is a very painful concept. Within the film as well, Daniel does do a lot of close-up shots. There is a lot of center framing of Molly Wright's character, who is the younger sister. She is really the center and the eyes of the film for us, and it is crucial that these close-up shots are working because all the actors facial expressions, their movements, their body language, it is so vital for this film and you can feel their pain, you can feel their confusion, you can feel their angst. This may feel like a religious expose but it is a family drama at heart and you should never forget that. We have the surroundings of the Jehovah's Witnesses but it is a family story. The character stories, the story arcs, everything just is part of this ongoing dilemma that is going on in the family. Apostasy humanizes its characters and it's not scared of creating this dark despair of the slow build. At some elements you feel like the film is going to topple but it's not. It just carries on and carries on and carries on which is what Daniel has made so well in this film. He really is a very low-key kind of filmmaker. He lets the camera do the work for you. He lets his actors and actresses do the work for you also. You are just engrossed into this world. Daniel Cocatillo's debut film is a very dark expose on faith. It's not just about the Jehovah's Witnesses. It is about any religion that you can think of or any creed, any cult, anything you can any political party, if you just change your mind about something that you follow so passionately about, you can lose a lot. And that is what is the essence of the film is. It is a film about paternal decisions, but also it is about how you as a person can change your mind and potentially change for the better. This film actually has been praised by former Jehovah's Witnesses and they do agree with what he has created. This film was even filmed in Oldham, so there is some great British feel to this film, and I do hope that Daniel Cocatillo will make more films within Britain and keep the 
flag of independent British cinema flying because Apostasy is very special and you should definitely watch it. It is available on Curzon Home Cinema right now. It is available in select cinemas as I've mentioned, but very limited runs everywhere. But I would highly recommend this film. My review will be on www.moviemarker.co.uk. I have finally put the 2001 Beyond 50 panel videos up. They are all on a playlist which is linked below also, so please give them a watch and check out the amazing day that we had in Bangor last month. And obviously, all I can say now is Dio, Danko, Obrigado, Merci, Boku, Arigato, Dankeschön, Bitschen, all the shuns. And obviously, never change.